Yo, what's up? It's your boy Navian. We about to go through my vault with off top. All right. See the first quote. A beat that could be on to pimp a butterfly. All right. I think I'm gonna play a vibe similar to the joint that Boy Wonder did on to pimp a butterfly. Play your favorite collab beat. Oh, I definitely got one of them. It's one of my favorite R&B joints. Really unique too. ended up being on a beat tape that we um, put out, or that Oh Gosh put out, and then he had me featured on it. Eric Bellinger put a crazy record to this too. I actually need to get that from him. Let's see what we got next. <clears throat> next prompt. In the studio with Drake. This is hilarious. Literally have a whole folder. Folder is for Drake. Um, let's see, what would I play for the boy? It's also, do we want R&B Drake? Do we want rap Drake? Do you want in the club, Drake? I don't know. The man is very versatile. Um, you know what? We'll just go with this. We will have... I don't know, maybe introspective rap Drake. The boy really likes very open beats, dope melodies, so I can hear him doing something over this. All it depends what bag he's in, you never know. Yeah, so the homie Boot gave me this loop, him and Andro flipped it. Shit is crazy. I love it. All right, that's what I would play for the boy. What else we got? In the studio with Adele. Ho oh, ho! We about to play some ballads then. All right. Hmm. So I actually ended up doing this for this artist named Yakoto, a Ghanaian artist. And yeah, her and her, uh, her guy Nikwe did this and I just produced it out, changed a few of the chords, just made it sound bigger.
Miss Adele would be satisfied. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? Your favorite sample flip. I got it. So this was actually the beat that we sent to Drake and it was too hip hop for him. And then I ended up hearing 8 out of 10 on Scorpion and I was just like, I guess. But you know, boy wanted to beat us to it. Alright. Let's see what oh See what else we got. I'm gonna have to start putting some of these behind the laptop. A beat that would scare the hoes. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what would scare them? Imagine a whole bunch of ass shaking going on and then they play some MF Doom. Like, <laughs> I, don't know the, I don't know the scenario. I don't know the scenario. Um, <laughs> we'll play a crump track. So yeah, I used to be a crump dancer back in the day. But uh, once I got heavier into sports, it sort of died down. But it was fun while it lasted. I'll still kill somebody off if I have to, though. <laughs> okay. Put that on in the club. They're, they're scared. <laughs> Everybody coming out. All of that. Chest popping and all. All right, what we got next? In the studio with Ye. Something just told me that this was coming. Oh, we. Damn, do we want the old Ye? Or do we want the new Ye? I'd want to hear new Ye on something like this. What else do we have? A beat for a car chase. What do I have that's fast? Okay. Okay. I'd probably play this. <laughs> the young drum and bass vibes.
Very Jet Set Radio-esque as well. Love drum and bass. Fun stuff to make, fun stuff to make. All right, what we got next? Play a bit from your dance bag. Okay. Um, search dance. Okay. We'll play this one. Very simple, very open. So I was with the homie Brian Roberts and we were just listening to the Drake and Beyonce album and he was like, we need a vibe like that that I could pin to. And I was like, say less. <laughs> This is also probably one of my favorite lead sense to use out of what VST would I use? This is out of analog glass. I use this a lot. Alright. It's something out the dance bag. Oh, is this the is this the last of the Mohicans? What we got in the studio with Jay. Oh, we. What would I like to hear Jay on? I think that's how I would approach this. I want to do something over this. I feel like this will be a dope Jay and Rick Ross record. So we definitely, I definitely made this during the time we were working on Best Shot. I remember, because we were making a whole bunch of expensive Maybach music sounding beats. The homie Darehouse going crazy on live bass. Being at that, we did a whole camp for this show. I think I definitely elevated as a producer. Like, it was like being in a hyperbolic time chamber. Just me and the homies was going crazy. All right, so those are all the prompts. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job. I think, I don't know. I'll let y'all be the judge of that. But uh, yeah, this was fun. I love, I love challenges. Love being able to showcase my versatility and really show my range because I hardly ever get to do that. But uh, yeah, I'm out of here. I'm about to go smack this burrito. Mm-hmm.